All right, guys, as this fight gets underway, we're going to have Mr. Dynamite Dave Hardy join us as well. Here on the headset with you. Now you're going to turn me up, okay? <laughs> After my hard opening there. All right, <laughs> See, so here we go, guys. Great fight lined up right here. Ghazi Khan of God, Gracie Baja, West Chase taking on Shreveport's own Jordan Woodle. And the last time we saw Jordan Woodle, he was ending his fight with uh, one hell of a head kick, man. Yes, it was. That was uh, about four AK events ago. Yeah, great, great fight that night. The head kick knockout made several of our highlight reels. And now you see right now Jordan only in the center of the cage. Got Ghazi circling around looking for a point of attack right here. Jordan a little cocky right now with the hands down, bouncing around a little bit. Yeah, looking a little bit comfortable with those hands down. But that's the kind of position you can be in when you own the center of the cage. I mean, we're talking to Scratch right here. You've been in there, brother. You know when you got your opponent coming right. to you, you own that island. You're making him circle and find a way in. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Both, both fighters kind of feeling each other out. And looks like we're going to turn it up a little bit. Jordan mixing it up with some good strikes there. And speaking of that head kick, you see him going high right there, letting Ghazi know that he's got it in the arsenal. Right. One, two by Whittle. Good job by Khan, keeping the head moving, keeping the hands up right there. Whittle round and round, goes low down kick. low, going to change on him. Yeah, man, and you know, those those leg kicks, they add up after a while, too. Yes, they do. It's just enough to keep your opponent off balance and not let him know exactly what you're throwing. Referee McCandless going to stop the fight. Something's going on here. Oh, talking about the finger pokes there going after the throw to Ghazi Khan. He wants uh, to see a bald fist. Yeah, yeah, can't extend those fingers out, man. No John Jones business. No Cobra <laughs> Tai <Yeah>. Chi <laughs> strikes here. Oh, going to the body, man. Mixing it up a little bit. High, low. Now Woodle letting the hands fly. Speaking of letting hands fly, looking like our buddy Scratch over here. We know he likes to let them go inside the yes, cage. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ooh, wee. <laughs> Is there anything on the radar uh, here anytime soon? Are you throwing those uh, those notorious hands? Man, uh, we're shooting for like the first of the year. Nothing set in stone as of yet, but we're shooting for the January area, January, February time. Ah, Hoping to get out. back in there soon, though. We're picking right back up where we left off. So start. let's delve into a fighter's mind right here for a second. Scratch, you see Jordan, he's the aggressor right now in this round, throwing a lot of kicks, a lot of punches. But you see Ghazi, he's, he's very defensive, but he's keeping his hands up, keeping his head movement. Right, what right. You, what's going through your head right now if you're Ghazi Khan? You've got somebody really, you know, feeling his oats, throwing those hands at you. If I'm Ghazi, I see him like he's gaining confidence. He's uh, maintaining the center of the cage. He's honestly, he's kind of controlling the pace of the fight. You see, he's the one that's initiating all these combinations. So if I'm Ghazi, I want to try to get busy a little bit right here. I want to, uh, he's behind on the scorecards and he's also letting this guy build up his momentum. So I want to give him something that's going to kind of make him think twice about letting these hands go and not just let him, you know, go with his move. Yeah, you, you definitely don't want to give Jordan a good head of steam. That's for sure. He gets rolling. It might be trouble for God. Right, right, right. And I agree with you on that first round there. You know, not damage-wise so much, but points-wise, definitely Jordan Whittle wins the first round. Exactly, exactly. The not judges see that, and he's building confidence, and he's starting to kind of get in his rhythm, whereas, you know, Ghazi is like, you know, he's kind of uh, waiting in reaction to whatever Whittle does. But when you've got a strong striker like Woodle who's pushing the pace, you're not going to win this fight being a counterpuncher, trying to look for a mistake. You've right. got to be more aggressive. You've got to get in the pocket and mix it up with it. Exactly, exactly. And right now, Ghazi a little bashful, not willing to step in the danger zone right now, just keeping his distance. Yes, sir. But you're going to get outpointed in that situation. You've right, gotta right. you got to mix it up. Yes, sir. The mouthpieces are in, they're back to their corners, and Jordan's motioning for the crowd to get loud. Trying to get him out the seat and on their feet is Jordan Woodle. Here we go, lock cocked and ready to rock. Round two on the way, fellas. Ghazi Khan taking on Jordan Woodle here at AKA 10. Both fighters meet in the center of the cage. Ghazi leads with a double jab combo. Woodle goes low. Here comes Ghazi with the overhand right. Woodle fires back. Now we're going to get in the pocket exchange a little bit. Good head movement. Way to back out that time by Ghazi Khan. Jordan Woodle back in the center of the cage, pushing Ghazi back. Now Ghazi takes the center, and there's that feared head kick by Woodle coming in one more time. Yeah, Ghazi coming in looking a lot more confident into round two for right, sure. Right, right. I think that's uh, I think what I said was kind of similar to probably what his corner told him. Hey, man, it's time to get busy. It's the second round. You felt him out. You see what he's got. Now it's time to get to work. And you know he's getting good coaching with his corner. Got UFC fighter, you know, Matt Danger. Absolutely. 
And now Woodle's gonna drop him. Khan's in trouble. He needs to snatch a leg, bring Woodle down. And he does. Work now, that guard, yep, yep. Going goes for the for arm. arm of Woodle. But you see Ghazi Khan quick to cover up. He knows Woodle's not gonna back off. He's gonna bring the pain. So that shows that Ghazi Khan is still a little trepidatious right now to get in there with Woodle. Absolutely. Woodle's shaking off that kick and said, no, nope, I'm having none of that. Ghazi Khan does a good job ducking under the right there, tries with a hit kick of his own. Again, Fane's that double jab, not a lot there. You need to follow that up with something. He's exactly, he's, he's, throw he's right. throwing one shot at a time. And uh, I think the key right here is uh, combinations, especially with a guy that's staying in your face and throwing combos. You're absolutely right, Zach. Yeah, he's not giving him too many breaks to get those shots in there. You got to take them when you can get them, that's for sure. Right. And if I'm Woodle, I've got one knockdown already. I keep the pace high. I keep going after him. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're like a shark smelling blood in the water. My opponent's hurt. He's not really trying to come in with me. I'm going to go after him. I'm staying in his face, for sure. And I'm with you. Press him across the cage, get his back up against the fence where he can't run from you anymore, and then work that pressure game over there. Yes, sir. We're both fighters staying around the center of the cage right now. Oh, Good man. low kick. Those leg kicks are going to add up. Good low kick by Woodle. You hear the skin oh, slapping? Nice spinning back man. kick. I, you know, I believe Woodle probably felt the wind off of that one. That was close. Guys, Comet had a real nice photo finish right there. He won it with that one. <laughs> and it was close. But still, again, at this point, I mean, Khan is down on points. He's got the knockdown to him in this round. Yes, sir. He's got to do something to get back in this right, round. Right. Oh, and Gazi telling him to bring He's it. He's telling him to come on. I don't know that I would employ the rope a dope right here. <laughs> and Jordan Woodle's not the type to say bring it because he's going to give it to you. Oh, yes, definitely. With a big smile on his face, might I add. Go back to the old cliche be careful what you wish for. Exactly. Sometimes there. you may get it. Nice body shot that time by Khan. Here comes Woodle with a one two. Khan backing up. Now, see yep. right now, Zach Fon Woodle pushing back, get him up against that cage. Exactly, exactly. You're kind of going with your move. You're already in your rhythm. You're working your combinations. Put them against the cage, and now it's time to work. That's it. You get a clinch game going, a little bit of dirty boxing while you're over there. Yes, sir. Nice right by the finished around by Ghazi Khan. So, again, in my eyes, Khan's down two rounds to none. He's got to come out swinging for the fences in round three, guys. I agree. It is competitive, but Jordan has edged him out, and uh, he's just been the busier guy. He's landed the cleaner shots. He's landed more shots. So, you know, the judges see all of that. Yeah, and definitely though. Ghazi looking a lot better in the second round. He seems to be getting a little bit more confidence. He knows what Jordan's bringing to the table now. Right. And he's a lot more comfortable in there, so it's good to see. Right, right. I've been able to call several of Ghazi's fights, the last three or four fights he's had all across Louisiana, some in Texas. And I tell you, he's really matured as a young fighter, and he's getting a lot more confident and comfortable inside that cage. Yes, sir. But tonight, again, he looks comfortable, but he, he's got to fight back. He's got to push the pressure. You can't be looking for that counter the whole fight. And now you've worked yourself into a 2-0 hole. So now you've really got yourself in a hole you got to dig out of here in round three. Kind of got to go out there with reckless abandon, if you will. And as we start round three, let's see who's going to touch first. Now Khan's got the center of the gauge standing on that Bishop Promotions logo right there. Woodle fires with a one-two. Khan with great head moving backs out. Ooh, Khan oh, with the hands. Man, Khan knows hands. it's time to get busy. He knows he's down two rounds. There he goes. He dropped Woodle. Have, and Woodle's on the ground. He tells him, get back up. He might have heard us talking, fellas. It's there assholes and elbows hooking and jabbing. Yeah. Oh! oh! What a knockout oh! from Jordan, Jordan with the knockout. With a brutal right. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is over. Jordan Woodle puts him down with reckless abandonment, man. I mean, just throws an absolute haymaker and drops him. The lights were out for Khan. Yes, sir. Jordan taking a knee there, and a nice little show of respect. Let Khan kind of get his composure back. Right, right. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. These two young men left it all in the cage here tonight at AKA 10.
ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stoppage to the action. At 27 seconds in the third and final round, declaring your winner by way of knockout, Jordan.